Right then. <laughs> New Year's Day in the Premier League. Things are all tough. We'll see Liverpool about. take on Newcastle at Anfield. Uh, should we take a look at the predictions that everybody what, has Was it got? between managers fighting? What, what was it? Everyone thinks Liverpool is going to win. Even ex-Newcastle player, mayor of Newcastle, doctorate at Newcastle University, Shaka Hiss. Don't jinx them, Dan. That's right. what it is, you remember? Know, I see. You, you need to get... Your, what's the local rag in Newcastle? Chronicle. You need to get in the Chronicle more often, a bit like Nickel gets in the echo. <laughs> yeah. Liverpool makes him, very, makes him very angry when he said, I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you did. You did. Not in that way. You, uh, you've given up on them. It's tough, they're having a tough time. Yeah. It's, it's hard a tough to put time. an argument up for them at the moment. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm not exactly 100% how many are back from yeah. injury and fit because they've had a, a bad time. We've, we've sort of talked about that. It's been very well documented. But, but they really... At least they have to be, comp you know. At least they have to be somewhat competitive in this game because if they get taken to the cleaners here yeah. by this Liverpool side, it's going to be more questions for Eddie Howe. Kieran, did you ever have a run like Trippier is having? Like, how do you get over that? Yeah, of course, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. Uh, but I think he's a top player, mm. and um, I like his mentality. I like the way he spoke in his interview. He was honest about it. Um, I think if you come clean about. You know, when you're not in form, um, it actually helps. It actually helps you individually. Um, so, I think with Newcastle, though, it's you know, for me, they're they're. I enjoy watching Newcastle. You know, they they are exciting, but they're they're an adrenaline team, and if they they have to be right at it, and the fans have to be, you know, bang on to them, and, it, and it, if they are, they're a real force. But they've lost the adrenaline a little bit for me, um, and it, you know. Normally they they'll blow teams away early doors, but if they don't, then you know they have to rely on their quality, and it's not as 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 good as um, you know we we we've seen it to be before their, all of the injuries. So um, you know they're, they're doing all right, but for me they're they're, they're going to get beaten this weekend. It's oh, good. If you want the adrenaline taken out, you come to Bristol. Yeah. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'll tell you, 20, last day of 2023, the adrenaline is, is, is pumping. It's, it's pumping high ahead of our big night tonight. <laughs> it's only him and I working over this. Well, like... What am I doing? What am I, chopped liver? Uh, uh, <laughs> something. Uh, right. I don't know what it is. Uh, Mark, it's going to be an interesting few weeks for Newcastle, isn't it? Yeah, they'll, they'll try and get people in. I think Calvin Phillips is one that they're looking at. You know, he's, he's obviously got no future at Man City. It's whether, it's whether Man City would let him go to a rival, but I guess Newcastle aren't really in that bracket now that they've had such a... A poor run of form, so they'll, they'll need to get people in. But you know they had such a good season last year; they, they, they overperformed last season, qualified for the Champions League. So it's always going to be difficult to, to kind of replicate that. But they've got a massive FA Cup tie at the weekend, Sunderland away, which it, on paper they should win that. But it's a derby game; it's a massive derby game. If they lose that game, then that could really set in a bit of a tailspin. I mean, that, that Eddie Howe's all right at the minute. I don't think there's any issues with Eddie Howe and the fans, but if they lose at Sunderland, that could set things off in a bad direction. So it is a big week and it's, they just need players back. But I think get players back, get a couple in and beat Sunderland, I think they'll be OK. Um, I don't think Guardiola would stand in Phillips' way, would he? Really? I mean... To Newcastle, I, I would. Uh, so. You know, I, I mean, he has to understand. And he, he, he's talked about... He's even mentioned that uh, the Man City manager said, look, he just, just sort of doesn't fit. And I thought he did, but, but, but he doesn't. And, you know, he, he, there's, a, there's a guy... And he's... You know, I'm not suggesting he's the, he's the best midfielder in, in England, but he's certainly a good midfielder. Mm. And he's too good to be sitting there getting as little game time as he is. And that would be an interesting one, seeing him go into a place like Newcastle and allow Gomez to go and maybe a little bit more freedom to go and play. And I think... I would like to see him get a move to try and reignite his career. Uh, to, to, to Augie's point about City not wanting him to go to a rival, just given how good Calvin Phillips was, at least before he arrived at City, I think he goes to a team near the top of the table. I, I don't think he goes to somebody in the bottom three. Mm. I, I think some of the bigger clubs in the league would, would be interested. So inevitably, it will be a rival or, or, or close enough. Um, it will we'll go after Calvin Phillips.